bars, though? Hey, listen, you better start playing it. You got bars? Hey, you got no bars. thankful for us, a big baby. For him, I mean, this guy should still be playing in the league. Yes. And, you know, he sacrificed that to be here. You know, our player Ryan Gomes went down with a calf injury, but Ryan was a total professional this entire time. Whole time. He's he stayed, here. stayed tall. He's still here. And then Xavier, and more importantly, Xavier yeah. Silas. Uh, he's 32 years old. He should be in the league as well. And he's sac- 30. He's 30. Oh, my bad. I think he's two more years. And he dressed like it too. Yeah, but but you know, he he sacrificed this year because he's a guy that should be playing, and we're thankful for him to be humble enough to let us rock and let let guys play. And still support us. And still support the entire time. He was our assistant coach. Really support. Yes. Real support. And then you know I, I'm a friends with JYD. JYD has been a guy here who's been working us out. Uh, he's been one of the keys for for the community and doing things for the big three. And we're very thankful for JYD. The walking wounded, and Jocelyn just stuck with us. And, I mean, she's an, she's an angel. She's an angel. She in the ring, too. She and, and Bur- 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 what do you say? Bourbon, Bur- 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 what do you say to, what do you say to Jocelyn? Bur- 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 take it easy. Bur- take it easy. <laughs> Okay, let me let me just start because these guys are really amazing. When I had the opportunity to be the coach of this team, I was blessed beyond recognition. And I have coached in the WNBA, I've coached in the NBA, in the NBA D League, and we have a cup reporter here named Baby. Okay, the front row. Big baby news. So you know, I get a lot of credit from my my guys because they're kind and they're very loving but let me tell you what i'm gonna go down the line and cory mcgetty there's a reason why this man is the mvp i have never seen anybody have such a professional routine in how he takes care of his body the same with katino mobley these guys you know they mentioned they've been friends for over 20 years this i believe is the first championship they have won together And this team is about friendships, it's about growth, it's about caring about one another. We talked about, you know, Corey knowing uh, Q since he was five or six, fifth fifth grade. grade. Fifth grade. And then so many people have had a part in our success. You know, Birdman was our top draft pick. And we were sitting there at the draft and I was with Catino and Corey and they were locked in. They had already, you know, scoped out and knew how important Chris Anderson would be to us uh, as a player, as a professional, as a winner who has a ring with the Miami Heat. I mean, he's signing with the NBA team. This he some, needs to be on an NBA way. team. For, for a fact. Somewhere. So everybody has a part. You know, it's not just about the coach. It's about the coach allowing the players to have input. This is a, this is a player's league. And you have to allow your players to express themselves. You know, when, when Q got injured, you know, Ryan stepped in. When Ryan got injured, Xavier stepped in. And I will say this, um, one of the, the, the hardest things in this league is to tell somebody that they're not activated for a game. I actually, you know, I, I played this game. And to be able to say that to somebody, it, it's really a struggle for me. I'm not supposed to say that as a coach, but it was a struggle for me every week not to, t- to tell X that he wasn't going to play. And the same thing with Ryan. And they took the pressure off of me. You have Drome, you know, he's doing clinics for the young three. He's the president of that. He's helping in community with children. And then he's here helping players. And Ryan, and, and barking like, my, my puppies do not do anything like him. <laughs> I mean, this is a family. We love each other and we care about each other. And it's your turn. You know, um, I'm just very happy to to be in the presence of all you know this this group. Uh, last year, 
you know, it was, it was a tough situation. Uh, getting injured and banged up and finishing, you know, one or two possessions away from the finals. Uh, I told Corey McGetty, I said, you know, as long as I got you, I, I, I'm cool. We're going to the championship. Am I lying, Corey? Did I not say that? I said that. I said, as long as I got you, I'm okay. I said, and then, listen, when we got Birdman, and then they told us Baby was the captain, and we picked Q, and we got X and Ryan, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> To me, I, I, there was no, yeah, we had some, some tight games, but that's just how, that's how it is. And sometimes you blow people out, sometimes you win by a buzzer beater, it's what it is, but the point is you win. And, um, you know, I'm not trying to be cocky, but when I came to the Clippers, and I think in 05, there was a reporter who said to me, I looked at the roster first, and I was talking to Sam Cassell, and I was in Spain, and I was like, you know what, Sam, I'm gonna go to the Clippers, I'm gonna challenge myself more. You know what I'm saying? I said, I like their group. They got Corey McGetty, who averaged 20 in his sleep. They have Elton Brand, who's 20 and 10 in his sleep. I think if me and you go there, bro, I'm telling you, we go to the playoffs. They haven't been to the playoffs in 14 years. So, I mean, it was a laughing. They laughed, basically. So the reporter's like, why are you so cock why are you so cocky and confident? I said, that's what you call me cocky. I'm confident because I've been practicing my whole life. I understand. So I know if I sacrifice, I will be able to help these guys reach something they didn't reach playoffs, have getting a taste of something. And we went to the playoffs then. So I mean, I'm not saying I'm not saying it's me, but I said I just want to be a part of something big. I've always been like that. I think I'm a selfless person, and I got selfless guys with me, and that's the reason why we won. Because Q gives up his his body, Baby gives up his body, X, Bird, Ryan, Jerome. I mean, Corey's just battling all types of injuries, and he's still going out there being an MVP that he is. You know, I mean, it's just. Coach is amazing, you know, she, she, she listen, she, our, our, when we, when we, when we drafted people, we drafted our character. We were all dogs. We were ready to fight, we were ready to fight, and we're not playing, this ain't no commercial, okay? We're for real. We're for real. We want every smoke you got, we want. So that's just what it is. And it's all respect. We will respect you like men, you respect us. Mentally. Because when I left the game, I left the game in a different phase. And you guys brought that back to me. I, uh, I've been going through a lot of crazy things lately that it's just not who I am. Cube, Clyde, they stood by me. They knew who I was as a person. And this team stood by me in spite of what everybody said out there or what they think or what they might see. And I thank you guys for that. We're a family, bro, you know. And so it's been a long journey. You know, this has been crazy for me. And this big three organization, the camaraderie, the people, the love, it's a great thing. And I promote this lead. As long as I can play a damn basketball game, I will be in the big three, for sure.